Amazon stock reports earnings today. Let's go ahead and talk about it. First off, we just wrapped up our live trading session, which was for the first hour of the market open. If you ever want to tune on in, that's going to be the second link in the description down below. But they saw me open up short on Tesla. And after my $750 loss yesterday, it was a nice little comeback with $2,200 in Tesla alone, uh, covering at lows of $187. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about Amazon. So Amazon, as of right now, reports earnings after the market closes. Amazon stock is down to 180 per share. It's slightly down, pretty much a break-even day for Amazon. It's had an amazing 2023. Uh, I'm sorry, 2024. This is one thing that I like to bring up because of how it affected the previous big tech reporting earnings as it was very, very overbought, right? Um, that was meta. Um, very, very bullish 2024. We hit highs of 189. We're kind of in the middle. We're testing the moving average. Are we going to gap down or are we going to gap up? Well, let's talk about market's expectation. Market's expectation for EPS, overall EPS is 84 cents per share. That's earnings per share. Revenue is expected to be 142.65 billion dollars. Now, one of the things that is often said about Tesla is that Tesla is such a big test for tech and there is little room for error. So one of the big focuses for Amazon um, are these like subgroups within Amazon, right? So there's overall revenue, but then there's specific sections in Amazon as in retail, AWS, whatever the case might be. AWS has always been a really big focus. Just like for Google, it's always been Google Cloud ser uh, Services has always been a very big focus. And is that growing? So accelerating AWS growth is key for Amazon and anal analysts say. Now, the one thing that not a lot of people are talking about, and again, this is, just an idea, but just like last week when they announced, uh, when a big tech company announced that it was going to be offering earnings uh, or dividends for the first time, that is huge, right? That is huge to be able to pay investors. It, it invites a whole different type of investor that wants to live off of that dividends, that wants to earn passive income off of that dividends. And guess what? Amazon still hasn't announced it yet. So can it announce it? I mean, it could definitely afford it, but can it announce it today? We'll have to wait and see. Remember, there's always two parts to these earnings. There's the earnings report, which is based off of the expectations that we just talked about, uh, the EPS and the revenue. That's one part. But based off of what we've seen in the past, guidance is often more important. You might be asking, well, Ricky, what exactly does that mean? It's super, super simple. What we mean by guidance is, what is the company saying that is to come in the next quarters and in the future of the company? Are they expecting a slowdown of growth? Are they expecting a rapid increase of growth? Kind of like, you know, what approach do they have or expectation do they have of 2024? And that will give us a better understanding if we should see a wave of selling pressure or a wave of buying pressure. But do not worry. And I'm sorry to be asking this at the very end of the video. I want to ask you guys, if you guys want me to go live, just get this video to over 1,000 likes and I would be more than happy to host a free live stream here on YouTube so we can capture the market's reaction as Amazon reports earnings for 2024. So again, just drop a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and you need to turn on your post notifications because if not, YouTube will not notify you when it is that I go live. And remember, Amazon reports earnings right after market close. So please make sure that you are aware of that. I appreciate your time. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And if not, again, I hope to see you for our live trading session. And that's that second link in the description down below if you want to get hooked up with a 50% off discount. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care team.